we greet our dear andunulapam readers in the mighty name of the lord jesus it's 18th of october the wednesday year 2023 today let's meditate on the topic abundant wisdom if any of you lacks wisdom let him ask of god who gives to you liberally and without reproach and it will be given to him from the book of james chapter 1 verse 5 we gain knowledge through the books we read and the lessons we learn and we need wisdom to apply that knowledge in the right manner knowledge is what we gain and wisdom is the application of that knowledge in the best possible manner lord jesus is the one who grants this wisdom the scripture says in christ are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge from the book of colossians chapter 2 verse 3 and the lord lovingly grants this wisdom to his children solomon who became a king at a very young age asked god for wisdom to rule the nation it was a great prayer in the sight of god and in his compassion he granted abundant wisdom to solomon with this wisdom solomon ruled over israel for 40 long years and peace and joy reigned in israel it is essential to have the wisdom of god even to perform small or minor tasks some people when they speak without wisdom end up hurting the feelings and causing division in the family and later they will regret that they should not have spoken like that or acted in that manner if only they had asked for wisdom from god and acted accordingly then it would not have resulted in such unpleasantness god is able to grant abundant wisdom as he is the wellspring of all wisdom prophet isaiah gave a wonderful explanation about the wisdom that was upon christ jesus he says the spirit of the lord shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the lord from the book of isaiah chapter 11 verse 2 he is granting a measure of his wisdom to his children through word of wisdom and word of knowledge these two spiritual gifts are like two spiritual eyes of a person through holy spirit you can also obtain these spiritual gifts and use them to exalt the name of the lord it is important that you should have divine wisdom in order to understand spiritual matters the scripture says that you were enriched in everything by him in all utterance and all knowledge from the book of 1 corinthians chapter 1 verse 5 you understand worldly things through worldly knowledge that is why god has given you five senses in your body but to understand spiritual things you need to have heavenly wisdom and the holy spirit grants it unto you in his grace through this heavenly wisdom you can understand spiritual things scriptural truths and heavenly mysteries words for for the meditation from the book of titus chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 holy spirit whom god poured out on us abundantly through jesus christ our savior today's bible reading meditation for morning from the book of isaiah chapter 53 54 and chapter 55 bible reading for the evening from the book of 2 thessalonians chapter 1 